Okay, now we're ready to get the image of our Evo 4G. So we're going to go to the DCC Read Write tab. We're going to select the speed. Normally this is going to be set at max, but for the Evo 4G, the connection is unstable at that speed. We're just going to drop it down to 2 megahertz. Um, select the supersonic and the resurrector settings, which should already be set from previous. We want to display the, uh, or basically read the ROM 1 contents. You can see all the ones here, but just select ROM 1 and autofill full flash size, the check mark. And then this section over here is for writing to the NAND. We're not doing that, so we're not going to need to put anything in there. So now we're ready to click on the read memory, but before we do, we have to fire up the board. So we've got to add some power onto the board. So let's take a look at that process. So here we have the power supply. Let's turn that on. It's already preset to 4.5 volts. We did that before we connected it. You can see there's no current draw, so we're going to go ahead and power the board. And now you can see the board is powered. We've got a slight amount of current there. So now let's click Read Memory. And you can see we didn't get a connection. So we're going to have to reset the power on the board and try that a little faster. So we'll do that here. And it looks like we got a connection this time. Again, you want to turn the power on the board and click Read Memory extremely fast because that connection could drop off very quickly if you don't uh, get it the timing right. It's about a second and a half to two seconds. You can see speed and time remaining. You can see the size of the NAND here is about a gig. And the progress bar will increase as this goes. Now, this is a very, very slow connection, what we have going right now. So this is going to take some time to get an image. Uh, you can experiment with different speeds. Again, we selected uh, 2 megahertz just because we know it's stable at that speed. Um, but we can experiment with faster speeds. So we can stop this at any time and select a different speed. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's stop this, and we'll go up here and select 6 megahertz, and read memory again. Now it's going to ask us if we want to resume, basically continue the last read or start over. We just want to continue. It starts where it left off. You can see the speed is a lot faster, and our time remaining has dropped down uh, to about half of what it was. Now again, the EVO 4G is, is kind of particular in this case. Most of them you can just sample at max. So now as we get toward the end, we've accelerated this. You can see we've had to drop it back down to 3 megahertz because this, the connection wasn't stable at 6. Um, but nonetheless, it's finished now. It shows you that it's finished, tells you the uh, sections that it got, basically from start to finish in this case. Just click Save. And now we're just going to save this to our hard drive. You can select any location you'd like. We're just going to call this ROM1.bin. It's a binary image file. so. Uh, we'll be able to open that up in a hex editor here momentarily, so just save it to your hard drive first. So this takes a little bit of time. We've accelerated it for the video, but uh, expect to, to wait a couple minutes for this process as well. And once this is finished, you've got a full binary image on your hard drive.